So here are my solutions to the hands-on exercises. And uh, there's five of them. And here's the first one right here. So I'm just going to open those files up. And so it was to apply a class and an ID. And I applied a class and an ID to the same element. And out of these two, this has a CSS specificity of 10. This has a specificity of 100. So this is going to be green. Voila. Green right there. Cool. So I'm going to close that one, close this one. The second one was very similar. And it was to apply an element and an ID. This has a specificity of 1. This is a specificity of 100. So this is again, right, ID, element. This is again going to be green. Waha. <laughs> it's green. So let's uh, close those. Uh, the third one was to apply an element and a class, specificity of 1, specificity of 10. So this is, again, you know, element, class. This is, again, going to be green. Waha. And close all. The fourth one was to apply an element and an attribute. And so to do that, right, I had an anchor with a attribute of target Coke. And uh, this has a specificity of 1. This has a specificity of 10, right? Class and attribute, specificity of 10. So this is, again, going to be the color green. Waha. Let's close that one and that one. And then the last one is to apply a class and an attribute. And uh, these both have a specificity of 10, but this one comes last. So for me, my solution, the color is again going to be green. <laughs> All right, so those are my five solutions to the five challenges. Hopefully that helped reinforce for you how CSS and CSS specificity and order, how those two work in conjunction to determine which declarations get applied to an element when you have rule sets with conflicting CSS specificity values. The selectors have conflicting CSS specificity values, right? Or, right, they're both targeting the same attribute and the values are the same, right? Then it's order, or if they're different, then it's the higher specificity that wins. So hopefully that reinforced all that for you. In the next section, I think what we have coming up in the next video is a little bit of a review. So we'll review some of what we have just learned.